And we did, mm. but if you look at some of those other parts of the country, especially in Texas, where they are definitely not <laughs> used to seeing this kind of weather. Oh, yeah. I've got yeah. a great uncle who I chat with off and on, and he sent me pictures. Six inches of snow in San Antonio. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's south central Texas. Uh, mm. He hasn't seen that amount of snow in about 35 years. Oh, yeah, wow. I, yeah, I lived there for six years. <laughs> yeah. We never saw that. And it is very flat in a lot of parts, mm -hmm. and so I'm wondering what's going to happen when all that snow melts. Yeah, they also yeah. don't have the infrastructure to plow out the snow. Mm -hmm. There are no plow down there so right. they have to wait for it to melt and it could be a couple of days uh, they're also dealing with no power too huh. well that's just fine yeah, so lots tough, of power, yeah. tough yeah. conditions mm -hmm. for texans and a lot of the u.s right now you can see these temperatures here have really dipped in portions of uh, the central u.s you can see that big arctic air mass has dropped down south where in texas there are spots where we're sitting in the single digits oklahoma even seeing negative temperatures there at oklahoma city uh, so quite the weather setup here as that Arctic air mass plunges towards the south, uh, really impacting areas like Texas that, uh, that are not used to those temperatures. In our region, 41 degrees in Portland. You can see we're starting to push back into some mild weather here. Our influence from this Arctic air mass is also starting to recede out towards areas of the uh, uh, northeast here, back into Montana, where folks are pretty much used to these temperatures occurring every winter time. But still some big impacts across the Pacific Northwest. We're done with this winter storm, but still dealing with that thawing right now as that snow continues to melt. So thankfully, temperatures did not refreeze overnight. We'll see highs back in the upper 40s, and we will continue to thaw as we head our way into today. So here's our pet walk forecast for stepping outside. Do be careful on the sidewalks this morning. A lot of that snow is melting and causing some big puddles. Maybe a little wet if you step outside. Uh, say good morning to Dakota Jack, who had a lot of fun over the weekend up in Vancouver, where they saw a good amount of snow here, closer to a foot. Uh, Caitlin sent in this photo. You can see uh, the pup there with the snowman. Today, we're back in rain showers. So that snow continues to melt, but we will see off and on rain showers this afternoon. So it uh, will be a bit muddy as you step outside. Muddy and snowy, even rainy by later today. Here's our satellite and radar. You can see the showers pushing on through right now. We have a bit of a rain shadow setting up, so we're not not seeing soaking rains this morning, just some light scattered showers. We'll keep that in place this morning. The showers do pick up as we head our way into the afternoon. There will be more of them around the valley here. So uh, tracking some wet weather for the second half of the day. We'll still keep heavy snowfall also pushing in uh, where we could see about eight more inches of snow, even down to government camp and a good amount for the higher elevations out at the resorts today. So a lot of snow uh, taking aim towards the Cascades. We dry up just for a bit on Wednesday. I see a mainly dry day for the valley. Valley. Still some light rain showers out towards the coast, but a good break from the wet weather before we push into that soggy pattern that just continues into Thursday. And right now, this model is catching on to some cold pockets of air where we could see possibly a rain snow mix or what I like to call a chunky rain. Little impact if we do see that on Thursday, but we'll track this trend here uh, with some of those areas around Portland uh, in some colder air. Back to rain, though, by the afternoon. Same for Friday and over the weekend. We'll still see a number of weather systems here uh, pushing in rainfall, so it does look pretty wet. Again, as we head towards our weekend, we'll see off and on heavy rain there. Our ski report also very impressive. While we saw snow here in the valley, now it's starting to thaw. Uh, snow has continued to fall up towards the mountains. Meadows, Timberline, over a foot of snow over the last day. Uh, good to see that for our snowpack, but it is raising concerns for avalanches. If you do play in the backcountry, I would avoid it uh, unless you're out at the resorts where they maintain the slopes. Um, again, we'll see some very dangerous avalanche conditions going into today. So here's our zone planner. The coast today, rainy and gusty, also a chance for those sneaker waves. So out on the coastline here, uh, we could see some dangerous conditions. Uh, don't get too close to the water here with those sneaker waves in place. Upper 40s today in Portland and many areas in the valley today. Upper 40s, maybe touching 50 degrees. We'll see rain showers this afternoon. Quick look at your seven day forecast. More of a normal week ahead, even some dry time come Wednesday. But Thursday back in some heavy rain. The rain continues through Friday and our weekend. Carly. We'll take